everybody. So in this video, this is going to be our drive from South Carolina to Tennessee and then from Tennessee back to South Carolina. So are you ready? Yes. I am too. So let's go. Stay in the second or third lane from the right. There is that on GPS talking.
is that is this pump weighs over 60 pounds. left onto I-40 West.
deep left. For about 72 miles, continue straight on. Now we do get off of that exit over there quite frequently. mid-July, so we got August, and then September will be here, and it'll be apple season. Street lights up. And it ain't 
comfortable in having 18 wheelers riding well, on your backside. So we passed just then.
Bahamas. <laughs> and they all get their breaks. That's when you, you take the hair rings out and run over the vibrate. our main objective to get through here before the sun was completely gone. It's going to still be on. And yeah, we succeeded. Yeah. Just because the sun is setting. I know you still got like a good 10 or 15 minutes. It moves. Well, that worked out great.
34 minutes away from the hotel. two lanes to take exit 407 onto State Route 66 towards Sevierville. Take the exit, then keep left onto State Route 66 business south towards Sevierville. the left three lanes to keep left onto State Route 66 business south towards Sevierville. It's not pronounced that the way I pronounce it. I pronounce it Sevierville. Says you made it. But we're not going to Bucky's tonight. No, I'm tired. Well, I think we're both tired. You've been up since four or something. I've been up since yeah. 5.30. It's a little rough. A little rough. I'm usually in bed by this time of night. I, I actually was a good mom up this morning. I cooked your breakfast. That was a miracle in itself. That's one thing I don't want to do. School bus. I usually grab a pop tart or yeah. something. Because there ain't nothing I want to eat whenever I look in the refrigerator that time of morning. Uh, you didn't have to look in the refrigerator this morning? Nothing does not excite me at all. But I do know I have at least one subscriber that gets excited about Bucky's. So if you watch this video, there's the one in Tennessee once again. <laughs> just left out of Bucky's but I did want to stop in and show this beautiful cup that I got it's got Tennessee on it so now I got to see if we got the one in South Carolina it's got the Tennessee flag there and cowboy boots bears darling peace loving Bucky's it's all about the brisket looks like it's got the moonshine thing right there and a banjo I wonder what the one in South Carolina is going to have on it. Good question. I might have the beaches. I know. We'll have to see if we can get there before this is the next craze on cups. And then, that, that was only $17.98 for people that do wonder how much it costs. And I never in my life thought I'd like beef jerky, but I'm going to tell you, that's some good stuff right there. That bohemian garlic tastes just like a steak. Anyway, now we're going to hit the road again. favorite exits. <laughs> we love 432. That's actually usually how we go into the um, mountains. Whenever we stay in Pension Forge, of course, but whenever we're staying out there in Kodak and Sevierville, and we go to 407, which is the more popular exit. Get your beans this morning? No, I do that on the next trip. Yep. We've already stopped and got some candy. Stopped at Bucky's. She 
says she'll wait on her beans.
a short section there. It's not even all that long.
see that's the difference between me and you. I'd be in that lane driving. Huh? So whenever I was being aggressive, which I'm, I'm an aggressive driver too, so that's probably why I don't drive more than I do on this thing. I don't like to follow people, so that's my problem. <laughs> I want to be out in the front. <laughs> when you drive, you better be in this lane because you have to yield to everybody in coming up. And I don't have patience lane. to yield. Like, move it. Move it, move it.
word out great. I only had two days off from work. A lot of people say, like, oh, you're going on vacation. No, it was not a vacation. It was just my two days off from work. So, I do crazy things like this sometimes. You get the notion you want to go somewhere. Why not go? You want to live, 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 yeah, you want to live once. struggling, I can tell you that.
close, but we're still in North Carolina right this second. When North Carolina's got a little a, a bigger highways too, you do. I sure you need to hit that. Sure did. You're a wreck you. I'll close you, wreck. All right, here's the sign. Welcome to South Carolina. It ain't even been 36 hours since we left out South Carolina. No. 30 hours. It ain't even been 30 hours. In fact, we'll be home before 48 hours. Yeah. Yes. How about it? How many hours has it been? We left at 430 Monday afternoon. All right, so it's been a little bit over 36 hours. Maybe 40 hours since we left. That was a quick trip. I slept good last night. I slept real good last night. One drum. One drum. It's off Carolina. I think you don't move over. Well, yes, please let her get past you. Is she going to keep on trucking so she don't have to see you again?
Columbia, South Carolina. Anytime we go to Columbia, I always feel like we're home. Which I'm home anywhere I go, but you know. <laughs> Columbia, South Carolina is known for being famously hot. And it is 98 degrees outside currently, so I believe they're living up to their title right now. <laughs> state house. Yes, yeah, so and over here on the right, we have the state house. Their creek myrtles are absolutely gorgeous today. station right there that's on um, WIS channel 10 it's been there ever since I can remember probably been there longer than I've been alive it's been there a long time and they still are there mm -hmm. Joe still Penner, going strong Joe Penner we used to work there Susan all day Fisher um, what's his name? Ben Tanner? Uh huh. A lot of people has worked there. What Greg a, Melvin, yeah, NBC. Greg. Yeah. Yeah. That's where he got started. Yep, that's, that's where he got started at, right there. I don't know if that's where he got started, Judy, but that was Judy, um, one of Gaskin. the last places at Gaston. She worked, Gaston. she still works there. with 100 degrees yet again I showed in another video too where it was 100 degrees that is crazy it was 100 degrees at 1 o'clock but this is 155. 100 degrees at 155 yep I have so much dust in my car <laughs> <laughs> 
just gets to Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our video of our travels from South Carolina to Tennessee and then back from Tennessee back to South Carolina. So it was a fast trip and we're we had a good time, I think. Did you enjoy yourself? Yep. Our main mission was to get through the tunnel in North Carolina before the sunset. We succeeded and then it was dark right before we got to the hotel to check in for the night. So that's good whenever, you know, the sun sets, but you still got some time with a little bit of daylight before the sun sets. That worked out great. But, um, traffic was really good going in. Kind of worried about going through Columbia. But then I was like, well, if we go the way we sometimes go, it was going to add like another 30 minutes to the trip. And our mission, like I said, was to get through that tunnel. And it worked out great. And the traffic was good. We see what they're doing. They're doing road construction up there. And showed some of that. Some of that places you have to go through. We made a mistake by going through, and it was dark one night. You couldn't hardly see your hands. You sure could. That's like our headlights wasn't doing anything. And you know, so we said we didn't ever want to go through those mountains again. Whenever it was we night got, time, we got through it. Monday night with no problem. If I could have got off of work at three instead of four, we would have been going. But that did not happen. But anyway, it is one of these. We couldn't do it in that time. Uh, winter time. No, we found that out last year whenever we went to pick up the Dollywood passes for the year. We left whenever I got off work that day. And it was already completely dark by 6 p.m. <laughs> and then we still had over three hours of driving in complete darkness. So we're like, I'm not going to do that again in the winter time. But anyway, we had a good trip. The hotel room was really nice. I'll show that in a future video because I've already got that hotel booked a couple more times this year. Now I liked it that good. And um, so I'll show that at the finale for the year. <laughs> and um, anyway, we had a good time. The breakfast was really good at the hotel. The room was really nice. It was much nicer than I expected. I do have to say that because of the price. And um, I was not expecting much, but it was it was really nice. I can understand why people stay there as much as they do. First off, it was cheap. It was clean. Breakfast was good. Employees were nice. Can't ask for better. And it was in a good location. Without us having to drive all the way out there to the interstate. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you somewhere else. And if you haven't, subscribe, please do. Yes, please do. And hopefully you'll stay if you do. But if you don't, you probably won't ever know. No. <laughs> Unless you tell me. So anyway, that's it. See you somewhere else. So toodaloo. Bye. Bye. So in this video, this is going to be our trip from South Carolina to Tennessee. And then back from Tennessee, back to South Carolina. So are you ready? She didn't hear the question. I said, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs>